Hey, Sun Seeds. Hey, what's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? This your girl, Mystic Sunflower. I'm back to give you guys a regular collective general reading. Let's see what Spirit wants you guys to know. Holy Spirit. My answer to the highest white light. My holy angels. Archangel Michael, please protect me while I go to the highest white light and channel the energies for my beautiful collective sun seeds. What's up? What's up? What's up? I want to say thank you guys for all your donations, all your likes, your shares, your subscribes. Thank you. I appreciate you guys so very much. Thank you. Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit, please and thank you. Holy Spirit. Okay. So the first card we have out is surrender to the magic of who you are. Spirit wants you guys to surrender to the magic. Work your magic. Work your magic, Sussy. Okay? Spirit wants you to surrender to the magic of who you are. Okay? Surrender under the bottom. Surrender to stubbornness. Surrender to silence. Surrender to divine timing. Surrender to setting limits. I feel like um, for a long time, you guys could have been putting something on hold. That you want to do, Spirit saying now is um now is divine timing. A lot for a long time, you guys probably um didn't have a voice, couldn't find your voice. Spirit is saying um surrender that, okay. Surrender to stubbornness, okay. Spirit is saying right now is your time. Surrender to magic, okay. It says surrender to magic. We all have magic in us. Even in the midst of everything, remember that you are a magical being with a uniqueness and worth that come from just being you. Spirit wants you to surrender. You are unique with a special magic that only comes from you. I feel like Spirit wants you to work your magic, surrender to divine time, which is now. Okay. You can have been through something. You could have, um, that could have um, messed with your confidence, your self-worth. But Spirit wants you to surrender. Okay? Now is the timing. Now is the perfect timing right now. You guys could have been, um... You could, it's going to have been planning and planning and saying you was going to do something for a while, but not taking no action. Spirit wants you to surrender to silence. Spirit wants you to take action. Spirit saying now is the time. Surrender to magic. Ten of cups. Spirit's called out. It's ten of cups. With the world under the bottom. Nine of cups. The empress. Wow, the emperor. Nine of Pentacles. Surrender to magic. It will be wish fulfillment. It will be everything that you ever imagined under the sun. Spirit wants you to surrender to the magic that you have within yourself. Just being you. Be open. Let the world see the real you and who you are. Close out cycles that no longer serve you. That you felt like you had to put a mask up. The hang one. What did I say? You got the enlightenment of who you are. You know that you are very magical. You know that you can manifest whatever you want. All you have to do is put it put into action. First it starts in your brain. Once it's in your brain, you believe it. And then you put it into action. Death. You're putting a depth to the old you. And you're going through a transformation. Spirit wants you to remember that you are a magical being with a uniqueness about you. Spirit wants you to put a depth to doubts, naysayers. It's one thing to just say you're going to do something and don't put in no action. Spirit is saying with the Ten of Cups, it will be wish fulfillment. It will be everything that you imagine and more. 
the hang one, you could be stuck. You could be stuck. Not sure if you want to end out a cycle. But Spirit said the cycle needs to come to an end and you need to surrender to the magic of who you are. We have the chariot. It's time for you guys to move. Move forward. Travel. King of Cups. A lot of you guys are very intuitive. You guys know what you need to be doing. Spirit is saying. You guys know what you need to be doing. Use your intuition. Surrender to the magic. It's right here waiting for you. You are unique. Just the way you are. Queen of Swords. Spirit said you are the truth. King of Pentacles. You could have been stuck at a job. Stuck with a business that you feel like is not moving the way you the way you expect it to. Spirit is saying don't stay stuck there. You are magical. Anything you want to happen, it can happen. Keep trying. Use your magic. Work your magic. Don't stay stuck. Because it's new beginnings. If you feel like you stuck at a job that you know that don't no longer serve you, and you feel like you want to do something else, start strategizing a, um, a plan how you're going to leave that job. How you want to manifest the life that you want. The death card with the five of wands. It could be a lot of drama and conflict going on around you. That's keeping you stagnated. Something could be making you not see the magic of who you are. The Spirit said it's time to put a depth to it, the chariot, so you can move forward. The King of Cups, it's time for you to focus on yourself. Love yourself, nurture yourself, care for yourself. Use your intuition more. Queen of Swords, start speaking up, start speaking up for yourself. Start speaking the truth. Nobody could do it like you, son. See, only there's only one you. You know what's good for you. You know what needs to end. I can't make it up. <laughs> Eight of Cups. It just flew right out. It's time to walk away. It's time to walk away and surrender to the magic. Yeah. Because Six of Wands. Spirit said it's a yes. Six of Wands under the bottom. Yes. Six of Wands with the will of fortune. It's time for a change, Spirit is saying. It's time for a change. Justice card. It's time for you to reap your good karma. High priestess. It's time for you to use your intuition. Ten of Pentacles. Spirit got a big bag. Big bank waking for you. But Spirit needs you to surrender to the magic. It's right here. Let me pull this stuff over. It's right here waiting for you. This is your good justice. They want you to use your intuition. Ten of Pentacles. You are unique and you are powerful. And all of that comes from just being you. Not being like nobody else. Being yourself. Embracing the way how the divine universe made you. Understanding that your dreams, your wishes, what you want out of life is valid. Despite the circumstances that you might be in right now. Saberi so said, if you surrender to magic of who you are, because you magical, period. Once you tap in and surrender to who you are, and you start putting the action at work, you're going to just see how, how much magic you do have. Okay. What's this Ten of Cups and the Queen of Swords? Please and thank you. Ten of Cups and Queen of Swords. I can't make it up. I can't make it up. The Magician. The Magician. I can't make it up. Nine of Pentacles under the bottom. Surrender. You are the Magician of your life. Okay? You call the shots. You are your own Magician. 
And that's crazy. I was just thinking that in my head. And it came right out. You are the magician of your life. You are a powerful manifester. Spirit is saying surrender to the magic of who you are. If you're not happy in something, you don't have to sit around and be stuck. Waiting for something just to happen from the sky. No. Surrender to the magic of who you are. You call a shot. You the author of your life. Don't stay stuck somewhere that no longer serve you. Especially when there's nothing but drama, conflict, and problematic. That just only, that just only going to keep you stagnated even more. If you stuck at a job that you know that it does not serve you any longer. If you know that you cannot see yourself at this job in the future. I understand, you know, we all got bills. We got, you know, it's hard for certain people. But Spirit wants me to tell you, it's not really that hard. Is it only hard because you make it hard, Spirit is saying. Okay? So Spirit wants you to understand that you're the magician of your life. You called the shots. Ten of Cups with the Queen of Swords. Clarify with the magician. Spirit said, you. You're smart. You're, you're intelligent. Okay? You're the truth. You speak the truth. Call a shot. Stand up for yourself. Take charge of your life. Like how the queen of swords do. You play no games. Nine of pentacles. I see a lot of you guys being entrepreneurs. Even if it's just you. I see you being very successful. Being very abundant. Spirit, what's this hang one in the king of pentacles? I can't make it up. The shrimp card. You being strong, courageous. Going after what you want. Going after what you want. Taking charge of your life. Taking action. Running your life. Creating the life that you desire. The life that you want. Somebody could be a Pisces, a Taurus, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. Magician again, Gemini. A Scorpio, a Cancer, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, a Libra, Pisces again. Even though signs don't matter, but I know sometimes I like to hear it. Nine of Pentacles under the bottom, Virgo. Whoever this message is for, Spirit wants you to put an end. Put an end to these problematic drama people that's keeping you stuck. You guys have business ideas, things that you want to start, new investments that you want to make on yourself. Spirit said, go after that job, go after that promotion. Invest in yourself, invest in that idea that you keep contemplating, contemplating about. Spirit said, you keep talking about it, you keep talking about it. Spirit said, now it's time for you to surrender to being silent. Being silent. A lot of you guys probably didn't have a voice before. So now you guys are excited. And now you guys are speaking up. Now you guys are telling people about your dreams. Your, this and this and that. Spirit said, no, surrender to silence. Don't tell nobody. Spirit said, keep that to yourself and put in that action. Because you have people like this. When you start telling your dreams and your ideas, you got people that will start stealing them. Projected onto them. Next thing you know, they stole your idea. And you still in the same place. Spirit said, get silent. And put in that action. That business idea, that business you want to open up. It's time. Stop staying stuck, Spirit is saying. Spirit, what's this death card? The five of wands, please and thank you. The death and five of wands. Thank you, Holy Spirit. I can't make it up. The emperor and the empress came out. You have a divine counterpart out here ready and waiting for you to work, to work with you. You got a whole divine counterpart. You got a divine, this is a divine counterpart. Okay? 
You and this person surrendering to the magic, taking on the world, being a, being your own magician. But somebody has to put a death to the to the to these five of wands people. Emperor and the Empress came out together, together. These are some people that are supposed to be taking on the world. Period. Yeah. The star card making a wish, making wishes, stacking their bread. Mm, 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 mm. These are the two. This is the most powerful woman in the deck. This is the most powerful, powerful man in the deck. These two people are entrepreneurs. They run the empire, the empire. Okay? They take on the world together. Nobody could do it like them. Okay? They are very, 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 very successful. Okay? I'm talking about business mindset. Generational work. Oh, Spirit said work. It's time to work. It's time to work. I was about to say generation worth, but spirit said work. It's time for these two people to work. It's time for these two people to work. Because this is their good karma. This is justice. The high priestess. It's time for somebody to use their intuition to get to these ten of pentacles. Only how you could get to these ten of pentacles. Listen. Them together. And these two apart, she could get nine of pentacles. He could get nine of pentacles. But to get ten of pentacles, the generational wealth, I promise you, these two people have to be together. Okay? It's time for you two to surrender to the magic. Okay? Spirit says it's time for somebody to get to work. But I see with the five of wands following behind the eight of cups, somebody is walking away from the drama. Okay, look at this, I see. You see that um, five of wands follow behind the eight of cups. Somebody is moving away. Somebody had enough of that. That's why we had the death card out here. Somebody is ending that, okay? Somebody is ending that. With the eight of cups follow behind with the six of wands and the wheel of fortune, somebody going towards a success and victory. Wheel of fortune. Something is changing. Okay? Whoever this person is with the king of cups, I feel like they're using their intuition. This person got a lot of feelings. Excuse me. A lot of feelings and emotions for you. The high priest is somebody listening to their intuition. Yeah. I can't make it up. Six, six of pentacles. Under the bottom, somebody ready to give into this. Four wands under the bottom, twin flame. Some some type of communication is going to come into you. And it's going to be some good news, okay, with the lovers. Spirit, what's this king of cups? What's this king of cups, please and thank you. Spirit said it's time. It's time for these two people to work. Page of cups. Somebody want to apologize and make some type of offer. Yeah, the sun card and the temperance. Somebody see you as an earth angel, very beautiful, very... Somebody see a lot of success and victory with you. I also feel like um, this is divine and stepping in. Here, what's this page of cups, please and thank you? Whoever this person is, you make them happy. Very happy. Here, what's this page of cups? Two people I see that was stuck. Um, we had the Knight of Wands. Somebody has a lot of passion and love for you. Ace of Swords. Spirit said that's the damn truth. Somebody has a lot of... This Knight of Wands got a lot of passion and love for you. Spirit said that's the damn truth. It's time. It's time for this connection to come. Okay? You guys could have been stuck for, you know, for some time. It could have been this King of Pentacles. You could have been waiting on this King of, Pen King of Pentacles to put a death to a situation or, or to walk away from this problem. These five of wands, people, five, um, problems, drama. You could be already in a, um, in a place of um, manifesting your, your life that you want, sun seeds. Whoever your person is, this could be your person needing to surrender to the magic of who, who they um of who they really are. But I think now... This person is 
Thank you, spirit. Thank you, spirit. This is your person. Your person is now surrendering to the magic. Okay? Your person sees you as the Ten of Cups. The hang one, this person could have been stuck. But not anymore. With the death card, somebody's putting an end to something. With the chariot, they coming towards you. King of Cups, why? Because they got a lot of feelings and emotions for you. Okay? With this Queen of Swords, somebody look at you like you the truth. Whoever this King of Pentacles is, that could have been being stubborn in the past, could have been a Taurus. Well, this is a Taurus. Somebody could just have Taurus in their chart. Somebody could be a Pisces, a Pisces with Taurus in their chart. Okay? This person could have been being stuck in the past, being very stubborn about this connection. Okay? You could have been already out here manifesting the life that you want. Okay? But this Ten of Cups, somebody sees you as, you know, the end or be or Somebody sees you as a true Queen of Swords. You stay on your ground. You don't play no game. Okay? Somebody sees you as someone out here putting that action. Taking charge. Somebody is also admired by that. But somebody had to put a, a death to these five of one people. Okay? That was standing in the way. Now this person is ready to get on the train. Get on, you know, with the strength card. Now this person is ready to um, take action. Take charge of their life. Okay? Take their power back. Take the veil or take the mask off and expose who they really are. Let their magic be known, be shown to the world, to everyone. Somebody is going through a transformation. The emperor and the empress came out together. Spirit said it's time to work. The chariot and the eight of cups. Somebody is walking away from the, the, the drama. Somebody got a lot of passion and love for you, Spirit is saying. It's a lot. Page of Cups was clarified with the Knight of Wands. It's a lot of passion and love, Spirit. So that's the damn truth. Spirit. Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit. What's this? Um, what's this? Um, King of Cups. What's this King of Cups? King of Cups. Six to one. Spirit said it's judgment. I feel like your ancestors are working together. If you look at the bottom, these are people that's in like um, caskets, but they got their hands up like they celebrating. You see how their hands is? Like, yay, yay. Like, both of your ancestors are working together to bring this together. This is your judgment. It's like, they like, yay, yay, yay. Like, it's time. Like, it's time now. I can't make it up. Four ones up to the bottom again. It's, I can't make it up. Four ones. Ace of cups. Look at this. They like, it's time. Now is the time. There's no better time but now. You got to, like, this is your ancestors. Celebrate it. It's time. Surrender to the magic. Nine of Wands. Your person could have went through a lot. Trying to get away from these people. Spirit is also saying this person could have had blocking themselves in the past by being stubborn. With the Knight of Pentacles taking forever. Okay? The Moon card. Could have been dealing with, a, like I said, a Pisces. Or oh, Water Sign. Water Sign is out here heavy. Spirit, what's this um six of wands? I can't make it. Up. Six of wands is clarified with six of swords. Somebody is being divinely guided to go. Okay. To go. Whoever this emperor and empress is. 666. Six, six. Somebody is very gifted. Somebody is very spiritual, spiritually gifted. I can't make it up with the star under the bottom. Somebody is very spiritually gifted. These two people are, are destined to be a star. These are healers. Somebody could be a healer. Astrologist, a, a Reiki healer. Somebody is a, a even a, somebody could be, because doctors are healers as well, but somebody, I'm, I'm, I'm hearing healer. 
Somebody heals people. Yeah, with the temperance. Yes. I feel like you the only one who can heal this person. This person loves when you touch them, when they're in your presence. This person feels like you can heal them. You got you a healer. I'm hearing you could bring somebody back to life. Mm. Like you're the person that you, you could just look at somebody and see somebody, what they're going through, and immediately know what to say, how to heal them. How, somebody's a healer. Somebody got some somebody got healing hands as well. Person is ready. Somebody is ready to celebrate with you. Somebody is ready for this new beginning. Somebody is ready to close out a cycle that no longer serves them and put something to rest. Cool. This person want to share their life with you. Now this person. Now this person ready to surrender to the magic. This person could have been stuck in the past and was scared, very stubborn. But now this person sees you out here manifesting the life that you want. Not a pinnacle the ace of wands. Somebody see you out here manifesting like crazy. Standing in your truth. And somebody admires that. That you don't wear no mask. Whether it's just you by yourself with that nine of pinnacles. Whether it was you standing alone. Sunseeds. You did it. This person feels like you belong to them. I'm hearing you just do it for them. Of course you do. Look at you. Of course you do. Of course you do. This is your divine counterpart. I've been getting some beautiful love messages from my last couple of readings. Somebody is walking into something beautiful. Beautiful. Spirit, what's the strength card? Please and thank you. Nine of Pentacles. Ten Swords. I feel like whoever I'm talking to could have went through a lot. But with Ten Swords in your back, Spirit was still saying everything is fine. Everything is fine. I feel like um, Sun Seeds. You already um, used to be somebody very independent, strong-minded, driven, hardworking. Ace of Wands, King of Swords. This King of Swords is coming in, telling you that they want a new beginning with you. After closing out something that no longer served them, Four Swords, after putting something to rest, after healing from a situation, something could have blew up in their past. And this person is leaving everything behind. They don't care who they leave it out in the cold. Somebody is hauling ass, I'm telling you. Somebody is rejected. Any all offers. If it's not your offer, if it's not coming from you, they divine counterpart, somebody is rejecting it. Okay? Page of swords. Somebody could be peeking and spying on you as well. What's this king of swords? Somebody got some healer hands. I keep hearing some, something about somebody's hands. Somebody got healer hands. Somebody feels like you're the only person that they need. you all they need. What's this king of swords on the spirit? Please, thank you. Page of wands. They coming in telling you some type of good news. Somebody is watching you as well. Mm -hmm. Somebody is watching you. They feel like you they wish fulfillment. Somebody is, is sorry for taking so long. This person feels like they took so long. Somebody feels like if they don't come in right now, they're going to lose their chance. I'm also feeling like somebody... Um, Somebody could be feeling intimidated by you. Somebody could feel like... Uh, somebody could be feeling like you're just too perfect. 
And ain't nobody perfect but God and the divine. Somebody feels like you're too perfect. You intimidate somebody. Somebody feels like your energy is just angelic. You make this person nervous. Somebody don't do nothing but watch you on their phone. Look at look at this. Look how look how look at this person on their phone. Somebody don't do nothing but watch you on their phone. They feel like you are their wish fulfillment. The lovers. Somebody is making a choice and they're choosing you. Why? Because they want to work on things with you. I'm hearing and feeling your energy is very strong. Your energy intimidates this person. But this person knows that if they don't come in right, right now or right away, they feel like they're going to lose you. But y'all are divine counterparts. The emperor and the empress, like... Somebody loves you. This king of swords want to come in and tell you that they want a new beginning with you. Give me some cards on this ten of swords, please, and thank you. Always good. Give me some cards on the ten of swords. We have the nine of wands and the knight of pentacles. What did I say? Somebody feels like if they don't come in right now, they feel like they're going to lose their chance. Okay, this person with this Knight of Pentacles, this person feels like they're moving too damn slow. They're moving too slow. The Nine of Wands, your person went through some things in the past. Somebody loves that you're a healer. But I feel like this person is very intimidated by you. Somebody just feel like you're too good for them. It's like... By you being with this person, this person is going to feel like... Very happy and lucky. Like, they're going to feel lucky. Like, oh, you chose me. You chose me. But spirit chose you guys together since birth. That's your divine counterpart. Okay? It was written in stone before y'all even got here that y'all was going to be together. But this person, it's like your energy. Your energy is, is very strong because I can feel it. And somebody is intimidated by that. Somebody feels like you're too perfect for them. Somebody feels like they won't be good enough for you. And with the hangman, that could have been the reason why this person could have been stuck as well. Somebody watching you grow and elevate in life. You know, taking charge of your life. Being in that queen of swords. Also with the magician manifesting the life that you want. The, your wish fulfillment. Somebody to sit back and watch you do that. Being in their head. And they look at you like, damn. Maybe what if I'm not good enough for this person? This person wants to communicate with you. With you. Give me some cards, Holy Spirit, on this. Um, give me some cards on this page of swords, Holy Spirit. Seven of Swords. Somebody is being sneaky and, and, and peeking on you. Peeking, I'm peeking at you. With the seven of swords, you don't even know that this person is watching you. Oh, yeah, but they are. Three of pentacles. Six of cups. Somebody want to reconcile with you. Seven of pentacles. Somebody want to invest in with you. This person could have had a third-party situation in the past. 
Yep. Ace of Pentacles. Somebody want to offer you something new. This person could have been in, um had you in a third party situation, um in the past. This person could have been uh, was being sneaky in the past. But now this person, now this person wants to come in and work with you and invest with you, offer you something. Ace of Pentacles. You could have known this person since you were a child. Oh, this person could have in the past um, decided to stay with somebody from the past and study taking on this road. Eight of swords, but all they was they was in their head. They was in their head the whole time. You could have had this person blocked. You guys could have hurt, uh, worked uh, worked on yourself. Just focus on working on yourself with the hermit with the four swords. I feel like sun seeds, you worked on yourself. You put something to rest. A lot of you guys have blocked this person out your life. What was that? Yeah, because some of y'all felt like. Um, this person was a burden, so you focused on work at the time. You got the Page of Pentacles, Three of Swords, the Tower. Somebody wants a new beginning with you. After possibly having you in a third-party situation in the past. Now this person wants to work on things with you. What's this Tower, Holy Spirit? What's this Tower, please, and thank you. What's the tower, Holy Spirit? Please and thank you. Five of Swords. I feel like this person, um, this person regret letting these jealous, envious people get in the way of this connection. Or somebody also could have been with the with the the mother of their child, stuck in a relationship with the mother of their child. Somebody probably um was going back and forth in their head whether they wanted to leave this situation alone. And make things work with you. I'm hearing somebody is waking up about they sleep having anxiety. Somebody is very attracted to you. Somebody thinks you're very smart, highly intuitive. Somebody feels like you're very fiery. What's this five of swords? If somebody was manipulating uh, the situation in any type of way, I feel like a tower has blown up. And now this person just this person is just want to walk away. This person was not happy. I feel like this person was being very stubborn in the past of this connection. Yeah, I can't make it up. Either one. Somebody out of there. It's be expecting some type of communication, a text message, a call, an email. Somebody is gonna reach out to you. ASAP. Somebody also could be watching you heavily online. Do something. And if this person, if they was with somebody and they manipulated them to, to, to keep them stuck from not coming to you, whoever that third party is now, they're going through a tower moment. Why? Because the five of swords, they try to manipulate this person to stay with them. And it could have been just for kids. Whoever this person is, the third party is, this person probably, this person can also watch tarot. And can have known that this person, your divine, um, your divine masculine, has a divine feminine, and it wasn't them. So they could have manipulated the situation to keep this person to, to stay. The tower could be a Scorpio. We have two Scorpios out here, eight of wands, but be expecting some type of communication. Yeah, because they found out the moon card. It was some type of secret. Something was hidden. The devil card. Yeah, I can't make it up. It was toxic. Whoever the person that they was dealing with had codependency issues. Yeah. What did I say? I can't make it up. The moon card. Whoever that third party is, if they was manipulating a situation in any way to keep this person stuck, this, that, that third party is going through a tower moment. Why? With the moon card. Because it was manipulation. It was hidden secrets. The devil card. This person um, was um, manipulating this person to stay with them because they had codependency issues. They could have been blaming, you know, everything on their children. Or oh, I need you to, I need this. Or I need this for the children. Or you got to stay for the children. Or because of this person, maybe this person had a particular lifestyle. And this person probably feels like if this divine master comes towards you, they um, lifestyle going to change. They could be used to living a certain way. 
instead of getting off their lazy ass and go get a job because that's what spirit is saying somebody need to get off their ass and go get a job okay the devil card that's codependency that's codependency two of cups okay whoever that was in the union with it was toxic four pinnacles okay this person was not trying to release this divine mask that's why we have the death thank you spirit that's why we have the death card and the five of wands okay this person had to end that. Yes. I can't make it up. Two of Wands, the Sun, and the um, the Fool. Somebody had to make a decision. And somebody chose to go after their, their success and take a leap of faith. Okay? I can't make it up. Five of Cups. All right? It was hurting this person to be away from you. A lot of them scared to even approach you because they intimidated by you now. They feel like you have grown so much and you have done so much on your own. Now this person is ready to surrender to the match of who they are. You have inspired this person. This person feels like you are a healer. You can heal them. This person loves you. They never stop loving you. This person is very attracted to you. But I feel like this person had to close out a karmic cycle with this third party who was manipulating this, this, this person to stay. Okay? Now it only did was backfire and blew up in this person's face. Period. That's why the page of swords was clarified with the seven of swords. Whoever this sneaky lying person is that they, that um, whoever this third party was, I feel like this third party watched tarot. Okay? They watch tarot, and they see that this divine masculine had a divine feminine out here, and they knew they wasn't it, so they tried to manipulate this divine masculine to stay with the three of pentacles to work with them. It was all manipulation. This could have been somebody that they was with since they was young, but now spirit is saying, what? You got judgment and justice. You got uh, too many major arcanas out here. This is spirit orchestrating this. It's nothing that nobody can do no more. Spirit is, I'm talking about spirit is blowing the horn. And whoever y'all ancestors is, they like, no. Enough is enough. Enough is enough. They got their hands up in the air. It's like, like it's time to celebrate. I can't make it up the world card. Something is in it. I can't make it up. Somebody's getting left out in the cold. Period. The world card. Nine of swords, this person's waking up out of their dreams. Five of pinnacles, somebody is getting left behind. Whoever this low vibrational person was that was codependent with the world card. Hermit, could be a Virgo. What's this, um, the hermit? But I feel like somebody had to go with that. Yeah, queen of pentacles. I can't make it up. What did I say? What did I say? Somebody was used to living a certain lifestyle. You see with the hangman. Okay, look. The hangman and the king of pentacles, right? This person was being stubborn before they was being, they were stuck. They were stuck before because they could have been married to somebody else. Okay? This is this queen of pentacles, right? This Queen of Pentacles is used to living a certain lifestyle. So this Queen of Pentacles did not want to let this person go because this person didn't want to give up this lifestyle. You understand? They didn't want to give up this lifestyle. They felt like by this going, um, going with you, everything would end. And this person would only be giving, you know, helping out far as the kids. Okay? Somebody definitely could be a Virgo or a Taurus Virgo Capricorn. We have Taurus Virgo Capricorn and Virgo. Or somebody could be a triple Virgo. But somebody was used to a certain lifestyle. And if it's not you, then just flip-flop the rules. Okay? But somebody was used to a certain lifestyle. And they didn't want to let it go. Let it go because they had codependency issues. With the devil card, they were trying to hold on to this person. But it was strictly for finances. Finances. I can't make it up. Somebody want to work on things with you, but if somebody feels like you, you, you got them blocked off, you can have this person block. Somebody feels like you too perfect for them. Somebody see you as single. 
and independent and you have grown and established a business. Seven of Wands came back out. Somebody, somebody feels like you have them blocked. You can have this person block some of these or just block the jet energy from this person. Seven of Cups. I feel like you're not dealing with no, no illusions, no games, nobody who have options, nobody who try to manipulate the situation. Four of Cups. This person feels like you're going to reject this love offer from them. Yeah. They feel like you're going to reject this love offer. Spirit, what's this? Uh, what's this Seven of Cups? Please and thank you, Holy Spirit. What's this Seven of Cups? We had Three of Wands. This somebody um, turning their back, planting their seeds, waiting for these ships to come in. Somebody also going to be, you see them little ships? Somebody's ready to sail away. Sail away. Two of Pentacles. If this person, if this person was juggling you in the past with the Eight of Swords, somebody is ready to come out their head about it. What's the Two of Pentacles, Holy Spirit? What's the Two of Pentacles, please and thank you. Somebody is, somebody don't know how to approach you. Somebody is scared. Somebody feels like, <laughs> somebody is scared. Yeah. The high friend. You could be someone very spiritual. Somebody sees you are very protected. You could be a leader. Somebody sees you as very strong. Somebody's intimidated by I'm just hearing somebody's intimidated. Like you intimidate this person. King of Wands. This person is also a lead. Ooh, look what came right out. Queen of Wands. King of Wands. This is your divine counterpart. You guys are both leaders. But this person is watching you already. This person already watching you step into, um, surrender to your magic. Now this person is ready to surrender to their magic. Yeah. Three of Cups. They're ready to celebrate with you. Now they're ready to celebrate with you. What's the Three of Cups, Holy Spirit? Yeah, but it was too much going on for too long. Knight of Cups. Now this person wants, this person could be on to come in and um, offer you a date. Some type of date, some type of meet. This person want to meet up with you. Somebody going to offer you some, some type of romantic gesture. Somebody want to, this person can reach out to you and um, ask you out on a date. Where's that judgment card? It just, it's something about that, that judgment card. This person got a lot of passion for you. It's, yeah, here we go. It's something about this judgment card. Look at y'all ancestors that's coming up from that the coffin. You know, these are people that pass over. These are, you know, people that pass over. These are your ancestors. Look how they clapping. I want you to see how they clapping. It's like, they're like, like, now it's the time. Look, Eight of Pentacles. They're like, now it's the time. Now it's the time to put in that word. Yeah. Queen of Cups and the lover. Somebody can have two options. And with this baby mother, they... The Queen of Cups, you know, that's either a mother or this could also be somebody's mother. This also could be somebody's mother. If it's not a baby mother, it can also mean somebody's mother. Okay? But Queen of Pentacles, King of Pentacles, you, you know, that's a divine counterpart. Usually those are two people that's married. But if, like I said, if not, which it is, it could be a mother or it could be a baby mother or it could be both. Sometimes it could be the baby mother and the wife. Okay, and you here you go, you over here on 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 this side. They like, who 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 is this woman? Who this you know? But this person knows that their soul is ir irking for you. It irks for you. It craves for you. And you know these women, they could be jealous. Like, no, I don't want. I, I don't want to see. I don't want. I don't want him with her. But Sussy, this person really wants to be with you, Queen of Cups. The lovers, ten of wands, it is a baby mother or a mama. Somebody's a damn burden. Somebody's a heavy burden. Ten of wands is burdens. Burdens. Yeah. Knight of swords. Somebody's coming in fast, quick, and heavy. Four of swords. After putting something to rest, after healing themselves for so long. Six of pentacles. And I also see what that hermit card spirit is saying. 
This person with the world card could already have closed the cycle out and been a hermit working on themselves, okay? Working on their finances, okay? But whoever that queen of pinnacles, she just could be used to a certain lifestyle from this person. Let me, um, uh, let me see something. Let me see something. Let's, let's, let's pull some, let me see. Holy Spirit. Give our beautiful collector star seeds. Give them some more messages, please, and thank you. Yeah, what the, leaving it behind. This person is walking away. They're leaving it behind. They're leaving everything behind. Anything else, Holy Spirit? Somebody is leaving it behind. And I feel like your ancestors are working together, orchestrating all of this. We have signs and symbolism. Somebody is getting signs and symptoms from the universe. I feel like whoever this person was, they could have been getting them in the past. But this person wasn't, um, this person wasn't listening to them. Addictions. That's that codependency. Cuffing season. It is cuffing season right now. Somebody could have been getting over addictions that they had in the past. Cuffing season. This season, this season. I mean, the season for relationship is coming up. And we're already in. Look at all the snow. It's already cuffing season. This person is ready to come and leave everything behind. Anything else, Holy Spirit? Rumors, performer, seeing through the fog. Somebody could have been spreading rumors about you and what you what you probably do um, for work, how you manifest sun seeds. They could have been starting rumors about you. Trying to keep this person away from you. But now this person is seeing through the fog. Huh? Obsession under the bottom? Your person could like wearing hoodies. Somebody is... We have obsession. We have guidance. I feel like this guidance is the six of swords. Somebody is being... Somebody is being divinely guided to come towards you. And that's your ancestors. What did I say? Tarot reading. Someone has gotten a reading done. What did I say? Someone has gotten a reading done. I feel like it was the third party. And they realized that this person was supposed to be with you. But somebody is so codependent on what this divine master can do. They didn't want to, they didn't want to work for themselves. They desiring you, spirit is saying. Cleanse your space. And I, like I said, that queen of cups can be a mother or a baby mother. But the family was toxic. That's why we see. What did I say? I said it. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Where is that? I forgot what the other card was. I see. But Queen of um Queen of Cups and Ten of Wands is a heavy burden. It's could be somebody's mother or family. Toxic family. Somebody went through a transform. I can't make it up. Transformation and codependency. Somebody went through a transformation. Somebody worked on themselves. And they realized whoever that person was, it was just all about codependency. Yeah. They was being tricked. They was going the wrong way. Halloween, wrong way. Somebody was being tricked by a trickster. And they found out about that third party. That third party didn't want them. It was just for the finances. Somebody was lying. Why? Because they didn't want this person to have this level up. Why? Because they was giving this... You know what? This person, whoever that third party was, they knew what they was doing. They was getting readings done. And they knew that this person was supposed to be with you. So they was throwing blockages and stuff in this person's way. Lying to get this person to stay stuck. It could have been a mother or a baby mother. But somebody is watching tarot reading. Okay? One of them knew. Okay? And they was drawing blockages in this person's life because they didn't want this person to get this level up with you. Okay? They was creating blockages. Okay? That's why we have... I got so many cards out here, so I see. Uh, let me see. Let me see. They knew that. They knew that. Only... What did I say? Only the... Only the emperor and the empress. I mean... Yeah. The emperor and the empress... Together can create this. Okay? They didn't want them to have that. They didn't want them to have that, son. See? They did not want them to have that. Okay? And they actually thought it was funny. Okay? Spirit said it was being child. I can't make it up. It was being childish. Look. They was being childish. 
They thought it was funny keeping this person stuck and bonded to them. But now your ancestors said, I had enough. Your ancestors said, I had enough. I had enough. I had enough of it. Okay? That's why your ancestors called judgment. New Year. Something could be very significant about the New Year's. Fork in a row. Someone has made a decision. Okay? They was trying to keep this person bonded to them. Yeah. And it could have been to the point where somebody could have went, went, went through some type of conflict. Somebody, it could be to the point where it could be whoever. Okay? Somebody even had to probably get, get a restraining order. Because these people are so codependent. Somebody could have had to really get a restraining order because somebody was a fork in the road. Somebody didn't want to let somebody make this decision to leave. Okay? Manifest. Somebody is manifesting you in their life and they want you back. Okay? This person is coming in apologizing. And we have the stubborn card in reverse. Stubborn card. They ain't stubborn no more. This, found out, this person found out who this person was. And they was dealing with somebody that was very dangerous. Somebody had to purify themselves from them. Yeah. But they grow on from the situation. A lot of balance. Yeah. Thanksgiving. Somebody feels like you have a good heart. Phases. The phases. This phase will end soon. Period. Romantic doors. I just wanted to pull from this deck because I knew it was something more. I knew it. Let me pull from... Um, Oh, I got so many cards. Some of these bear with me. I want to pull from the Kipper deck. Yeah, we have gift and pathway. We have gift and pathway. Because you are a gift. You guys both are a gift. And this pathway, you guys are both going on your new journey to start your new beginning together. And it's going to be very abundant. Yes. Because whoever they was dealing with, they found out this person with the fourth person in the community. And this is the message spirit saying... They found out this person, whoever they was married to, they was false. They was false. They was false, Sunsee. They found out. And now somebody is getting karma. Yeah. Privileged lady in pathway. Somebody was used to a, a certain lifestyle and they didn't want to give it up. They didn't want to let this official person go because they felt like if, if they let this person go, I can't make it up. They'd be in poverty. They didn't want to let this official person go because they will be in poverty. So they thought it was funny throwing blockages in this person's life. You know what? I'm going to end it right here. I don't even got to pull none. High honor. What did I say? What's the high honor in the Kippa deck? This is your ancestors. What did I say with the judgment card? <laughs> I don't know what... It's so messy right here, but we'll get it together. What did I say? High honor. High honor is your ancestors. What did I say with the judgment card? Do you see how them ancestors got their hands up? They're like, no, it's time to celebrate. It's time right now. High honor. High honor is ancestors. This is my ancestors card in the Kipper deck. Yeah, it was time. Somebody was somebody was throwing blockages in their life. First of the phase will end soon. Period. Period. It's over. I love you, Sunsea. This is your reading. Until we get up next time, anything you need to know about me will be in the description box. I love you guys. Later.